Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Reopel Room. Thank you so much for joining. It's season two, episode two. I know, been a while, but this is going to be a good one. Today in the room, I've got Lori McDonald and David Plenn. You know Dave Plan has been the guitar player for Jerry Repel since 1970. Laurie McDonald, guitar and vocals since 1984. This is a good one. And what's really cool about this one is we're going to dissect track by track the Take a Chance album and get Dave and Laurie's thoughts on those tracks and sessions, etc. This is part one, and you'll see that part one ends kind of unexpectedly because Dave goes missing. Dave Plant goes missing. And we'll have to find out in part two what exactly happened. But anyway, this is part one. Dave Plant, Laurie McDonald, as we go through side one and a little bit of side two of the Take a Chance album and have some fun. So uh, here we go. Welcome back to the Reappel Room. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Reappel Room. I guess this is season two. This is season two, everybody. <laughs> yeah, season, season two, two of the Reappel Room. Dave. Yeah. <laughs> and Dave was the first episode of season one. Ah. So I've lapped myself. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, everyone. So with me today, I've got David Plenn and Lori McDonald. Hi, Yay. David Plan. Hi, Paul. Hi, Lori. Lori. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, Paul, on season two. Well, uh, I didn't think much. I didn't know if you were going to get picked up, but it's pretty <laughs> cool. I, I don't think I am yet. I'm really trying, though. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm really pushing it. <laughs> so, okay, I mean, do I need to say who, David Plan is the lead guitar player for the Jerry Reappel band since 1970? Do I need wow. to say that? Because I just did. Wow. Yes. Okay. A man 19- who needs no introduction. You, but you've actually known you actually you've known Jerry since sixty eight, sixty nine, somewhere in there, yeah. Sixty eight, yeah, yeah. I was uh You were a little like ta- little seventeen. Wow. wow. And then Lori McDonald, who plays rhythm guitar and sings mm-hmm. in the Jerry Reappel band since uh, I think eighty four? Eighty four. Eighty four. Eighty four. And uh yeah. The- I don't know how long. How long is that? It's a long time. Not as long as Dave, though. <laughs> Not as no, long I as Dave. No, I still think of you as one of the newbies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Thanks for having us. So, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> what are you going to do today? <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. We're going to take a Reappel album. Uh, Dave's drinking. <laughs> Dave's got a Dave's cocktail. Dave's drinking. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit, but I also want to go over the Take a Chance album because I know, I I happen to know that you played on it. (laughs) And I also know that it's probably Lori's favorite album. It is my favorite Jerry record. I thought it'd be fun to like listen to some pieces of tracks and Dave, you can give us whatever memories you have and Lori can give it from your perspective. Sure. Okay. Go on. But anyway, first of all, you guys. Obviously, Dave's. You've been in the band always. How did Lori? How did you meet? I don't know which one of you want to tell the story, but how did you get hooked up with the Reappel band? We may have already talked about this. I opened for Jerry and Dave and the gang okay. at, in a at, at a bar the, called the Palace in Prescott. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Palace, right. So I was the opening act, and Dave and Jerry thought I was did okay. Yeah. <laughs> they thought you were a cool chick. Yeah, I remember looking out in the from the back of the stage and seeing you play, and you're doing Nutbush City Limits. Which, first of all, <laughs> who even does that? Who even knows what that song is? And it's like I don't. And what it's is sounding that? Tina Nutbush Turner. Bush City. Oh, yeah, oh. Tina Turner, and it's just funky as hell. It sounds great, and I was like, man, this girl's like, you know, totally in my, you know, zone. You know, I totally <laughs> get what she's doing. You know, right. and it's really. And weren't it, you so. thinking about 
starting a band, Dave, or because that's what we talked about that night? Yeah, I yeah. I always, I always, I'm always happier if somebody else is uh, leading the band and I'm sitting back there drinking. No, <laughs> <laughs> like, like now. Yeah, yeah, just now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's it's always and I it was writing and stuff, and I thought I really want somebody who loves to be out there. Just you know, me, I, it's like pulling teeth, you know, but. It, Somebody who just loves to be out there singing this stuff. And, you know, I didn't know if she was writing or not, if she wanted to do it. But, you know, I, I proposed the idea. Once you move out here, you know, you can stay with me for a while and we'll. Uh, I mean, did you see actually do it that night, the night that they she we, opened we up? We talked about it after the show. Oh, and okay. then and then we started sending each other tapes, which I still have the first tape you sent me, Dave. Mm, really? One of my favorite David Plen songs, which I've never heard you do since. Window shopping. Japanese <laughs> Garden. Oh, Jeff, I like Japanese Garden. You remember Garden. that song? Yeah. I love yeah. it. She sleeps in a Man, I wish we had that to play right now. Here, hang on. Yeah, I'll go get the tape out of no. the box. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that was a good Porta Studio song. Yeah. A, I like that one. The whole um, tape was great, never, but that was my favorite. But we, we exchanged never did tapes. Do that. Yeah, and, there was uh, no cell phone, so we're just making phone calls, I guess, right? Yeah, and, we were making phone calls. and So this is 85, right? Or 84? 84, 83, 84. Because yeah, yeah. I moved over there in 84, so it's probably 80. The summer of 84, I moved to L.A. Right. Yeah. So it was probably 83, late 83, we started sending tapes back and forth and talking. And, so your yeah. ori- original intention was not to play in the Jerry Riopelle band. You guys were talking about doing your own thing, and yes. then the Jerry Riopelle thing came later yeah. after that yeah well jerry just loved Lori's dl totally and you know there was a thick room at the time in the band yeah the uh the french chick was leaving <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh i took the french chick's place yeah, yeah you took yeah. the french chick's place <laughs> <laughs> But the actually, French. I think the French chick was out of the band for a couple of years. Was she out of the band for a while? I don't know. For a couple yeah. of years, maybe. I don't yeah, know. I don't think it was that smooth. There was, there was a, I don't remember who the heck was in the band when you joined, but who was drumming, Lori? Uh, oh, God. Um, Hickson, probably. Hickson, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Who I've run into at the bars here in Prescott. He came in to see us, which was awesome. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Well, he was at the tribute show too. You probably yeah, and he came him. to the tribute yeah. show and yeah, and he played, and he, he did. played, played on loaded, played on loaded. Well, well, th- loaded. Since I thought of that, I have to bring up. I was going to bring this up later, but one of my favorite moments, and maybe people out there were at this show. I'm sure somebody was <laughs> during "Let's Get Loaded" at the Celebrity. It was 1989, and I know this because I have it on video. You fell over. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you tell Paul. The story? Tell the story. No, because it was a perfect moment because Jerry was right there, caught you, and yeah. finished. And I didn't. You hurt played myself. the solo like that. Right? I I walked yeah. out. I walked out <laughs> like a freaking rock star, yeah, right. doing my solo in front of the monitor. And yeah. then while I was playing my solo and getting all into it, I completely forgot that the monitor <laughs> was behind me. So I backed up to get back to my place behind Jerry and fell over the monitor. And for some reason, he was right there and gra- and h- grabbed me by the shoulders so I didn't hit my head on the ground. So Right. And he held you while you played. And you I kept playing, playing and he held me and it was, turned into a moment instead of that was embarrassment. That was a total, total rock and roll moment. Total it, rock and roll moment, yeah. It, it could, you know, and it, it needed to happen during Loaded because right. I mean, if they'd done, you know, Valentine, it wouldn't have yeah. been nearly as effective. Because at least you, can you say, and I. You could say we meant to do that, of course. It's Loaded. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah we, that was know. all planned out. And the yeah. great thing is it is on video, so that is even. Oh, I know. Oh, God. Oh, cool. So. I still cringe when I watch it. <laughs> No, that was, was fantastic. Was yeah. <laughs> All right, what were we before we got loaded? Um, <laughs> how's your drink, by the way, Dave? How are you doing over there? With yeah, oh, you want to get me I'm one, Dave? Ice. It's it, it is just water. Just oh, you know, oh okay. It sounds water. like something really good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's it? good. Yeah. It has good ice in it. <laughs> That's what it is. It's good yeah. ice. Could you, buy the, ice. could you tinkle the ice for a second again? Just so everyone can hear this. Yeah. Ah, see, that's such a soothing sound for me. Yes. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Welcome to the Riapel room. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we, we know how you guys met. 
you got into the band. Well, and actually, Lori, I, I don't know if if you were. I did, real- didn't I do a, like a? Uh, I remember doing a commercial, singing a commercial, and I remember singing on a TV pilot. And so was I going to get? I don't know about the commercial, but I do know that my band, The Motion, were doing the music for a pilot called Summer. Yes. And Stephen wrote the theme song, Summer, great theme song, perfect theme song. We just listened to it the other day. And you sang background vocals. Jerry brought you in to sing background vocals on it. Yeah, so, that was it. Yeah. But yeah, so that was the first I that was the first I knew of of Lori. Yeah. Well, there's another quote when Dave and I were were recording. Oh, that one we did uh, that's what dreams are made of. Yeah, yeah, and Lita Ford Down was here. recording in the next studio. And it was kind of cool because I was out in the lounge while pe- while you guys were doing something. And she came by and she goes, was that you singing in there? And I said, yeah. And she goes, would you sing on my album? <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, I'm a total Runaways fan. You know, being a girl guitar wow. player is like Joan wow. Jett. So wow. to have Lita Ford ask me. So I was on her uh, album, sang on like six songs. Went to really? a party last Saturday night. Huh. That, that I was on that wow. album. So it was great. Well, I don't... I- I don't got paid and everything. I forgot that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I you weren't around when I met her, and and uh, yeah, it was really cool. I got to meet. Uh, uh, God, sorry, brain fog. Um, who's the guy who bit the bat <laughs> and peed on Ozzy? the Alamo? Yeah, that's Ozzy. <laughs> I got to meet Ozzy Osbourne. It was pretty funny. Wow, that is cool. Wow. Yeah. Kind of yeah. cool little offshoot of Odds and Ends was the name of our yeah. Dave right. and Mine's now, so band. So Dave and Lori's band was called Odds and Ends. That's the little yeah. thing that they started together. And then that name name came from one of Lori's cassette tapes that just had a bunch of <laughs> songs she liked on it. And we Odds were and like, ends. Yeah. we have to think of a name for this. We because we got a deal with uh, Arista, we got to think yeah. of a name. So yeah. uh, we just there it was. So simultaneously, while Odds and Ends is going on that project, you were also playing. In the Reappel band, yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was okay. it was way cool because uh, we tour Arizona, so I'd get to go home and see mom, and you know, <laughs> hang out with the family because we'd always do those Arizona tours. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, do you guys mind if I get to the little bit of this uh, take no. a chance thing? Go for it. All right. Do the take a chance thing. Take a chance. Um, this was the album that came out after Saving Grace. Both great sounding albums, although they're both very different sounding. I'm looking at the album and it actually says produced by Jerry Riappel, co-produced by David Plan and Keith Olson. So mm. yeah. But anyway, great sounding album. And Lori, you said it was one of your favorite records. My favorite in high school. Your favorite JR record, right, in high school. Yeah. So anyway, let's uh let's like listen to the opening track for like a few seconds of it anyway. And here it is. Is it River on the Run, the first track? Yes. See, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> so clean. Yeah. Is this the one Bucking, uh, Lindsey Buckingham sang yes. on? Yes. Yep. One girl's a street walker, but her feet are so soft. Hear Lindsay totally during this part. Yeah. I love that. Is that your slide, Dave? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's my slide through. Keith Olsen had a like a wall and sack tape recorder and we used i played plugged into that and he took it out the back and it had this weird kind of dis, really distorted but sort of clean distortion so right that's, very for that cool. that's one of the things you're the best at is in between singing you little just, fills like little yeah riff, just riffy the, just things, riffy yeah. things that just go so great with the the vocal melody and it's yeah, just well, always fantastic what you come up with thank you Thanks. It's yeah. part of uh, 
you know, protecting the song. You want yeah. the song is still the focus. You don't want to be stepping on things. Well, so that was so. Little... What's great about it was both you and John were both good at that with each yeah. other as well. You guys enhancing, knew how to play. enhancing the melody. You know, like like a Paul McCartney line. You know. Yeah, and he John would just. We never even verbally, you know, communicate. Hey, why don't you double me here? He would just know when to do it and then when to not do it. You know, like yeah, yeah. Uh, from- da, 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 da. You know, that song he plays sometimes the melody, then it plays totally against some of the it, other things. It becomes so. intuitive. Mm-hmm. The longer you play with someone, you sort of right. know you know which way they're yeah. gonna blink, which way they're mm-hmm. gonna turn, which how it, yeah. that's what happens when you're in a band. That's exactly. what's great about a band. Yeah, yes. with the good um, with the right players. Yes, sometimes exactly. it was, it's the opposite. Well, right. You know he's gonna do that <laughs> and you wish he wouldn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, and that was, yeah, Lindsay Buckingham singing. You know, Keith said, my pal Lindsay, Lindsay and Stevie were always in and out of the studio, kind of hanging around, doodling around and stuff. And he said, you know, they really need some money. If you can throw them in like a background part or something, be great. Lindsay would be good. So we, Lindsay, I think it's Lindsay and Tammy on the chorus, and then the three of us on the ooze. Ah. Uh, I remember being That's what I was going to ask, yeah. 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 Um, and see, Lindsay, yeah. we, we, we threw you a bone or the real yeah. gang. Yeah. yeah. And the song is uh, Stuart's song, right? The, that one is yes. Yeah. The, yeah. And he, this, all the people mentioned are actual people in his life. And yes. One guy's a rock and roller is Jerry. Okay. Yeah. Real good friend ah. of mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. See, I didn't even know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is cool. Yeah. yeah. But and you know what's funny, Dave, from our conversation with Stuart? The line, another guy, Stuart knew, um, one guy's a magician. You, I used to think the line was, one guy's a magician, you can make, you can make him disappear. You can, but the, li- the line is, one guy's a magician, you can't make him disappear, yeah. which I yeah. thought is so much better and funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so Stuart. Yes. It's so funny. <laughs> one guy's a magician, you can't make him disappear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart is really funny. So would you? So Dave would when Jerry would bring the song in, would would it just be basic and you guys would add all the yeah, just and the vocals and chorus, arrange it? Yeah. So the whole band yeah. would do the arranging. They rehearsed so much, Lori. They rehearsed constantly, and Jerry would always record rehearsals. I remember him coming home with cassettes and listening. Oh, that's and, right, a great Dave, idea. You, you guys yeah. spent so yeah. much time rehearsing. Oh yeah, working these songs up. Going up, I always heard arrangements for them. I mean, he'd bring them in. That's one of the things that was always so great. You know, Jerry would play, and it was just very basic. You know, whatever was you know, living life, bop, bop, bop. and then it's, it's like you cannot make cannot not make up something cool to play as a counter melody. Right. It's just uh-huh. it's great, and that song, you know, same thing. He's just strumming chords, and we came up, bam, da, da, yeah, you know, all that. All I was that wondering stuff. if he came in and played. You know that line, or it was just a basic. No, song. he ne- he never did that. He just let me do that. He was always that's awesome. He, yeah. was, again, he knew I would come up with something. You know, and, and I have a I have an old rehearsal tape for the Take a Chance songs. Uh, what it was for the album, and it's this great old rehearsal tape. And he, initially, he didn't play guitar on River on the Run. It's a key. He played piano, and it it begins sort sort of like Carry Me Away. <laughs> it's really interesting. Really, wow. how it evolved. Yeah. Wow. Um, I should have queued that up. Damn it! But one of these days we'll listen to that stuff. It's really some really funny and great stuff on there. I'd love yeah. to hear that. Yeah. All right, so let's listen to song two for a second. See what see where we go. See what happens here. Okay, what is this? Hey, old friend, come and sit for a spell. Tell you what we'll do. You can cry, and I won't tell. I am crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This vocal's great. This song always makes me weepy. Everybody calls me, nobody knows my real name. Thank you, man, I'm just digging clams. Preacher tells me maybe he's the only one to save us, but he's got nine acres. 
in Las Vegas. Oh, sell them back. Cause we ain't got time. I kind of just want to listen to this whole song. <laughs> it's so good. I'll get my drink. I love how it, it's it's so moody and sad, and then and then he kind of brings you out of it and makes you makes you smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L- Light that up a little it. bit. What a great yeah. vocal performance that one is. Super really great. Nice. I think I this is like I just Studio A and Sound City is what I just remember. I remember really mixing this one too, and just that rich reverb and not just the way that ends with that one uh one all the two and that horn line comes in just holds that one note just oh boy yeah this is goosebumps yeah. that's a second mm-hmm. song yeah that's that's an interesting choice for to do that that soon um something mellow was, like that yeah but it's yeah. very mo- mellow and moody after yeah this bouncy bouncy thing but it's really yeah one of the best songs great song I have a memory of them writing that song. I me- I remember we, we laughed about that that little B section, you know, clams, clams. Digging clams. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually remember them like kind of a little bit over the phone and Jerry with his notepad kind of working on that whole section, you know, in Las Vegas nah, 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 that, and that whole thing and um yeah. laughing about that line back then. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious so, back then yeah. cuz that was before uh, you know any, you know, this is 74. There was no great church scandals. You know, yeah. people <laughs> didn't talk about that stuff, you know. Just a, a, a singer's question, Paul. Would, yeah. would your dad sing sitting down or standing up? or? You mean like Do you remember up. when he'd sing something like that? He'd be standing in the booth or sitting oh, in the booth? Oh, wow. So. I, they standing. would have a better memory of that. Standing? Yeah. Than, yeah. I yeah, would, always, yeah, always standing. Always standing. Yeah, always okay. standing. Heads on, hands on his headphones, always ah. standing. I can okay. see often it. he would have these little like he would do this maybe a little later than this, but I think during these sessions, a cough drop or something that he would actually have in his mouth while he was singing. Ah. He would do that sometimes. Jerry, Jerry was a you know how you, you get attached to something. He loved these. It was a blue box of lewd yes. and cough drops, <laughs> yes. and every place we'd be in Phoenix, he'd go. We'd have to go find some blue ludens. And John Harris and I were thinking, we just need to name the band the Blue Luden Band. The Blue Luden. <laughs> I like Luden. that. <laughs> it was on the God. rider, right? Yeah. A box yes, of Blue Luden. Really. And I was just curious because, um, you know, sometimes you sit when you sing a song like that. Or, or you have the studio turn the lights yeah. down, you know. Well, you probably did that in certain situations. I don't remember him ever sitting and singing. That's uh, interesting. Yeah. No. I was just curious. Unless he was at the piano doing the, a rough vo- a guy Because he sounds so, re- so relaxed, you know. It's yeah. just kind of. Yeah, he does. It sounds like he's sitting down, but I'm, I know he yeah. wasn't. Yeah. Cool. That was just a weird Lori question for you. No, yeah, it's good. It's a good I love weird <laughs> course questions. I love weird yeah. Lori. <laughs> Yes, right. we all next, do. Next song, and Lori, you sang this at the tribute, so uh, here you go. Oh yeah, yeah. Some people play hard to find, but every old fool knows it's just your line. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Don't you go around acting like you're blind. Love that. Cause loving me just like stealing. No, they might get cold. Stop me. I love Dave's little licks in this part. Oh, the bass and the guitar licks? It was well, just great. You and me, honey, and have a red sense of fame. Well, you're looking healthy, my good friend. Well, loving me, just like still, no, they might get cold. Stop me if I stay. Slap me if I'm rude. But you're everywhere. It's an interesting sound, Dave. It's not your yeah. usual sound. Your guitar. It was a uh, treble pickup. Here goes Dave. Go. And I love this harmony thing. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> With the bass going boom, 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 and Dave's line, it's just great. It's really, dun, dun, cool. dun, dun, dun. It really is like and a you, Yeah, the bass like bum, 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 and you're like, Meer. it's just great. Yeah, that was that was solo I play with while I'm fingers and slide. So that's what I was going to say. You started with fingers and ended with slide, or yeah, well, that's slide. It's slide appears a little bit in the first part, and then it finishes up the whole. thing. And it's cool because that little harmony thing that comes back in the verse in the verse after the solo, it's really separated the the two parts. Yes, you you know the. Two, that uh, was the uh, us doing, in fact, all the ding, dang, our single note. This is not going to be anything to most people. Overdubs, <laughs> making a chord, which is what Brian May did a lot of in the Queen ah, song. So we yeah. were, ah, we were, we were kind of listening. sound. Yeah. Yeah. It was, we were, it was definitely, I think it was Keith might have suggested it. You know, it, it was, does have a little Queen thing going does, on there. That's what it is. Oh my God. That is great, Dave, actually, that you brought yeah. that up. That is cool. Yeah. That is really what that's like. Yeah. Yep, I I stole it from. What what made it that way? What did you do? Well, when you when you you do one take and you like on that E flat B flat that part, yeah, yeah. but you just go one note, ding ding ding, that with a distorted sound. Uh-huh. Take a second take, ding ding ding, just more single notes. Then da and then you hit the third, and you make the chord. Right. So it's different. Otherwise, the distortion's different if you're playing them all at the same time. It's not yeah. that doesn't have that tightness. Right. Ah. So all those, uh, that part and that little, that little thing you pointed out at the end. Yeah, it's funny. What, that, listening to this, I, have, I haven't listened to it that closely for a long time. The The organ's cool, too. That's yes. S- yes. Smitty. Yeah. Smitty. Smitty. Let me see. Who William it? Smith. I think Smith, okay. I think it's who played it. No, it's a, wait, what did you say? Accordion? No. Organ. Uh, organ. organ, sorry. B3. Who is it? William Smith. Yes. Yeah. William. <laughs> that was a connection of, that was Keith. Keith well, let's get Smitty in here. So Keith would oh, always cool. do, let's get Waddy in here. Right. Waddy, mm-hmm. Smitty, you had to have a name <laughs> in E. Stevie didn't make the cut, though. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> okay, so moving right along, let's have a little creepy song here. Hold on a second. Creepy. You'll see. <laughs> oh, Ooh, scary. <laughs> Count Floyd. <laughs> this whole this is so cool. This the whole arrangement. In the fires, we're not late. Travel best alone. Travel best tonight. Got a Got a book of matches Got three pairs of socks No one gonna catch me People do be late Watch out for the light Sneak up to the window Make love to the light That's the way Like a man Shack the same Cool slide, Dave. Yeah, oh, I remember the first, one of the first times I played on stage, I'm pretty sure it was Celebrity, and I didn't know that the audience was going to do what they do on that song. <laughs> it scared oh, yeah. me. It's like, sneak up yeah. through the window. Whoa! And I'm like, whoa, holy <laughs> crap, what was that? <laughs> you like, didn't fall over the oh. monitor again, though. No, no, that, I almost did. Here, here's a little tidbit I remember about that. I remember Jerry, he, I mean, he wrote the lyrics and they were, you know, a little, he, he wanted to bury the vocal a little bit in the chorus because he thought the lyrics may have been a little too creepy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Make love to the night. I, he just, yeah. you know, creep up to the window. He just, he didn't yeah. want to. So he kind of buried it's, that. In the point. Probably uh, somehow this came from a Gibson had a yes. line, the well, lyrics, and Jerry, yeah, you know, yeah, I, I know, took them into the gutter. 
No. Yeah. Well, you're right. Exactly. <laughs> the song, the, there was a yellow pad. I remember saying, me and that old fox, which is a, something that Gibson wrote and had this. Yeah. These words, nothing at all with, with the song is something about something. Me and that different. old fox. And then Jerry took that, me and the me and the fox, and wrote this whole other song. So Oh, uh, yeah. But he still gave and, Gibson co writing credit on that. So. Yeah. And John Harris plays a Mutron bass. Yeah. That, uh, wah, wah, no, wah, wah, that's wah, cool. I was wondering, I was like, is he playing bass through a wah wah or something? What is that? Yeah, no, it's just a pedal. And just you turn it on. You don't, there's no pedal. I mean, there's nothing. You, you st- turn it on, but you don't. Uh, yeah, click it on. It with you. Yeah. And it kind of it's like an auto wah, sort of, right? Isn't yeah. Kind of doing exactly. that? Exactly. Kind of yeah. Thing? Yeah. Mutron. I, it's kind of cool. Make- it almost has a clav, clavinet yeah. feel. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Now this, sto- Lori and I played this one last time, and I told her the story, but you have to listen very carefully. This is a st- song that was it was being count off, being count off by Gibson, the drummer, and you weren't quite ready, Dave. So you oh, hear yeah. your famous "Wow!" Oh. Da- 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 <laughs> leading up to the downbeat, <laughs> and it's actually in there, but you have to listen really. Is carefully. it? Oh my god! Um, so it's uh. I wish we could single it out because that'd be awesome. I, I can. Tr- let's see. If I'd I can make it my it. phone. My phone rings. Yeah, right. wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is the last. This is this, this is the last song on side A. So uh, here it is. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it either. All right. I insist that you guys hear this. Hold on a second. <laughs> So Gib- I'll tell you where it is so you can listen for it. So Gibson's going, a one, two, a one, two, ah, right in there, right after, right before <laughs> okay. Ready hit it, after right two. in that area. Oh, okay. really, so clean, clear the wax out, because here it comes. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Oh, I heard it. Yeah. I heard it. Okay. I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the sheet of tin, Dave. Yeah, it does. Dave and I had this thing in the odds and ends band called the sheet of tin. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a sheet of tin with a it's like, wire that I, I held, I would held up and I'd hit it with a stick. Right. And that's what that sounded like. Well, it totally. was an old beat up yeah. symbol that Gibson, it was a cracked symbol that Gibson. Ah, had. Very cool. That's great sound. Whatever yeah. happened to the sheet of tin, Dave? I have it. You do? I have it. Yes. Oh my God. It's, it's, it's in my garage, which I'm, you know. Middle of it cleaning should be out, in the Smithsonian, that thing. It, it will be someday. I'll bring it up to you. <laughs> like, sit in with your band. Um, we, uh, what was I going to say? That's, that, that was the the, tur- the guitar we called the turkey. It was like a yeah. kind of a custom guitar. Jazz master. Yeah, that I the tried turkey. to fix up and just didn't, you know, it worked for that song, but didn't well, work. It sounded good. great. Yeah, so you played, yeah. a, you had a capo on the first fret, right, for that one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably what the wow was. I was doing my <laughs> capo on. I uh, also that vocal. I was listening to you know on the tribute concert they were playing that, and I was backstage and I was listening to it. And I thought this vocal is really one of Jerry's best vocals. Also, it's just like uh, yeah. total rocks, full throated. Yeah. Just oh man, I'm telling you, it's just like knife through butter, man. It just sounds yeah. so good. Yeah. Total rock and roll. It's got that edge I like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have yeah. a studio memory of that song. Uh-huh. And it was it, you, Dave. I remember you overdubbing. I walked into, it was in Studio How B, How old were you, actually. Paul? I was probably nine. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, you, were, you were doing, you were overdubbing that second guitar. You're doubling that guitar riff. 
and you were oh. doing it in Studio B in the control booth, control room. Right. And uh, so I just have a memory of walk coming to the studio the day, and you were busy doing that. So. And is that another one, Dave, where Jerry brought the song in, and you came up with that bitch and lick? Or? You know, this one was Murray had the I got the da, 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 da. Ah, okay. he that's his melody. I'm just playing the melody on that one. Uh, and then yeah. the rest of the stuff, baby, all that stuff. Yeah, but it has yeah, all, all that. Stuff. Stuff. It has a bunch. It has more to it than the melody. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, that's yeah. That's just, yeah. The same thing. Just yeah. Make What's funny up. is you know the writers on this song. It's probably the most writers on any Jerry Riepel song. It's Jerry Riepel, Murray McLeod, David Plan, and Stuart Margolin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's funny. And I, I, my writing was just the solo. I did that thing. It just the whole section was my idea. The, da, da, the slow baby kind of, rose. Oh, yeah. Okay. The descending chords, the whole, that whole thing was my contribution. Where it goes into the halftime. Yeah. Yeah. Which is odd because I always hate songs that change tempos and that feels like that. But. That's what I did. It works on that one for sure. I love songs yeah. that do that. What's wrong? Yeah. With I do too. I, I kind know. of. <laughs> the Who did a lot of that. They were kind of a, ba- a ballad, oh. soft, quiet part in the middle of a, a rocking song. Yeah. And then, like Behind Blue Eyes, for example. Well, it was the opposite. It was a ballad and then had a rocked up part and then went back. But I like yeah, that kind of stuff. It worked. It reminded me of. And I was never that big of a fan back then, but Pink Floyd, it just uh-huh. seemed like a Pink Flo- my my version of what a Pink Floyd song would do. <laughs> that <laughs> section, yeah. 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 I see that. Okay. Let's go to side two. Ooh, side can I have two. Some, can I have a tinkle of ice, please? As we move <laughs> I think it's two. melted. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Well, do you know what I forgot <laughs> to do? You forgot that tinkle thing. I did. Yeah. I was, you forgot. I was Paul forgot kind of the- hoping. Guess what I've got, Paul? That's close. That's close. There you go. But here we go. Let's go back. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, it always reminds me of Gilligan's Island. Now everything feels okay. I know. I'm, uh, <laughs> okay. I was Gilligan's little, like, Island. We can use that when we wake off. up from this. You can use that when we wake up from this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you wow, saying I had the, the po- strangest dream? Wait, are you saying this is boring, Dave? What do you mean? <laughs> no, no, no. What are you trying to say? <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's like a dream. It's like. What? I didn't do it. I wasn't there. Okay. All right. All right. Side two, beautiful song again. This this might be even better than Hail Friend vocal, but uh, I don't yeah. know. See what, you, see what you guys think. I'm Some women of the world Oh, I still love him The dreams that she's repaired These many years she's cared Still love him What I just noticed is that tambourine. I've never heard that before. Tet, tet, tet. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Never heard that. Hmm. And I, was always of, lis- I was always like listening to Jerry to sing and not really listening to that, but it's that's neat. A little tambourine part in there. It's kind of a call to the, the harp part. Yeah, yeah. It goes yeah. ding, 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 then chit, chit, chit. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. And oh, cool. Dave, Dave and I were just talking about this. They would do it live, and Dave would play the harp part on piano with Jerry on on the other. Jerry would be on the Wurlitzer. Dave would be on a, you know, a upright kind of thing, right, Dave? Really, Dave? Are you there? Oh no! 
Did we lose Dave? <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he sleeping? <laughs> he's not there. Look at He's not. He's gone. What did he do? Where did he go? I don't know. Why did he leave? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause the recording for a second. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just wait. You give oh, him a text or something. Wait, he's going to come back, I think. No, wait, he actually, now he's gone. What was that? Was that Dave? Yeah, Dave just texted me. Says, "What happened?" You, he went away. Tell him to reconnect. Tell him to click, click the link again. Let's see. So where did Dave go? Well, tune in next week to part two. Just kidding. Tune in next week to part two, or whenever I get around to uploading. Eeks. Anyway, folks. Thanks, and we'll see you in Dave and Lori Part 2 in the Riopel Room. Bye.